to today's session. So today we continue looking at the 2021 grade 12 GCE mathematics paper 2. So we've done in the first episode we looked at question 1. So in the, our second episode we are looking at question 2. And question 2 leads solve the equation Okay, so the equation 3x plus 5 over x equals to 12. Giving your answers correct to two decimal places. So in this case, the number of decimal places has been specified. So we are trying to solve for x. So the first thing that we need to do is in this part A is we need to uh, ensure that x we get lead of this uh, x in the denominator. So what do, how do we do that? We multiply everything by x. So we're multiplying everything by x so that this x is, we get lead of it. Okay? So once you multiply by that, we get basically 3x squared because x times x is x squared. Then plus this x and this x cancel. So we have 5. Then equals x times uh 12 is 12x. So now from here, it's much more easier for you to say that it's a quadratic equation. Okay? So that's what needs to be to be done. So it becomes a quadratic equation. In this form, 3x square, then this 12 comes this side. Once it crosses the equal sign, it becomes a negative. It becomes a negative. So we have minus 12x. You've seen the way it has changed. Then plus 5 equals 0. Okay, so in this case, they're asking us to give, find the value of x. That's why I'm saying solve. So, so for us to find the value of x, first of all, we need to do, follow the step of factorizing the quadratic equation, like the one that we did in episode 1, when we're looking at question 1. So in this case, what you notice here is the general quadratic equation is given by uh, x squared, ax squared plus bx plus c is equals to 0. Alright, so we can identify what a is. So in this case, a is equal to basically 3, then b is equal to basically, remember, you get even including the negative sign. So it's negative 12, which is b. Majority of people, they leave that negative. Once you leave that negative, you've messed up everything. Okay, so it's negative 12. Then C is basically 5. So you have these numbers, you see? So once you get that, you are good to go. Now, once you read the question, say, giving your answers to collect to two decimal places, the answers will be in decimal places. Know that what they want you to use is this general equation for solving a quadratic equation, minus B, plus or minus the square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. That's what they, they want you to use, and you use your calculator. So, having identified that is just a matter of substituting there. So, it's a matter of substituting. So, what is b? b is negative 12. So, it's a minus, then minus 12, which is b itself, then plus Remember, b is a negative 12. So you take it negative, you put it in brackets, then plus or minus, then minus 12. Remember, b is minus 12. Then we square that, then multiply by 4, multiply by a. What is a? It's a 3. Then what is c? It's a 5. Then over 2a. What is a? It's a 3. Then negative times negative, we have a positive. So we have a positive 12 plus or minus, then... We have negative 12 times negative 12 is basically positive 144. Remember, a negative times a, a negative is a positive number. Then 4 times uh, 3 is 12 times 5 is 60. But uh, since it's negative 4, we have negative 4 multiplied by positive 3 multiplied by positive 5. So the answer is a negative, so it's a minus 60 there. Then over 6, 2 times 3 is a 6. Then we end up with basically... 12 plus or minus the square roots. So now 144 minus 60 is basically 84. So 84 over 6. So we need to find the square root of 84. Then, then from that, once we get we get to our calculator, 
once we get to our calculator and find the square root of 84 we end up with basically uh, 12 plus or minus the square root of 84 is basically 9.165 to uh, 3 decimal places over 6 so x is equal to basically 12 um, minus 9.165 over 6 or remember this plus or, or minus means the first thing you subtract then the other one you add so you have um, also 12 plus 9.65 over 6 then simplifying this side using our calculator we end up with a basic garden 3.1 uh, uh, you end up with basically the difference okay you end up with if you subtract you are saying 12 minus 9 point okay so we are going to end up with basically 2.8 uh, 3 5 then we divide by 6 so x we divide by 6 x will give you basically 0 0.4 uh, now this is the tail to two decimal places so it will give you basically 0 .7, 0 0.47 then the other one it will be uh, now 12 you add the 9 so 12 plus the 9 So you end up with 21.165, then you divide by 6, which is this one. Then once you divide by 6, you end up with basically 3.53 to 3 decimal places. 3.5, remember 5, 2, 7, 5, but to 2 decimal places to give you 5, 8. So this is the answer. So these are the two answers, the two values of uh, x so this is how you get these five marks okay good so let us go to question b so if you go to question b question b leads a boy as a bag containing five green balls one red ball and four blue balls a boy is selected at random from the bag and not repressed a second ball is selected, draw a free diagram to show all the possible outcomes, that's two marks, find the probability that the two balls are of the same color, that's another three, so that makes it five. So question two is ten in total. So again this question is straightforward and simple. So the first thing that is, let us collect the information that we are looking for. So we have the balls. So the first one is we have how many green balls? So green balls, so say G, so there are five green balls. Then red balls, which we call R, is one ball. Then blue ball, we have B, which is four. So if you total in total, we have how many balls? We have ten balls in total in this bag. Then we are told that a ball is selected at random from the bag and not replaced. Okay. So let us say this is the bag. Then at the first selection, we are selecting. Okay, we are selecting. We are selecting. So maybe just to make it uh, easier, let me just uh, get the, the whole page. So we have basically, we have uh, these balls. Or probably let me just use this one so that we should be seeing the question. So we start from here. So there are three possibilities when you select a ball. So the first one you can select a green ball, then we can also select a red ball in this bag, or we can select a blue ball. So now what's the chance that we we'll pick a green ball if you make the first pick? So the chance is we we'll pick there are five balls out of how many? Ten. So, 5 out of 10. Choosing a red ball at the first pick is 1 out of 10 because there's only one ball out of the 10 balls in the bag. 
then choosing a blue ball there are four balls out of how many ten so these are the chances then this is the first pick so the second pick is we choose we can also choose three balls so we have in this case i've used a different color so that you see properly a green a red then a blue so if in the first place we picked a green ball okay this loot you see the first place we picked a, a, a green ball what's the chance that we are picking a green ball so remember we picked a, a green ball in the first place then we did not replace it so now there were 10 we take one green ball would mean with how many nine balls because one has already been taken out so what it means is because we picked the green ball we remain with four balls in that four green four green balls so it's four out of how many balls in the bag because one has already been taken out so we remain with nine so it's nine out of four out of nine because remember we picked the green ball in the first place that's what this blanche means then if in the first place we picked a green ball it means we not pick a lead ball so that lead ball is still there so we still have one lead ball out of how many the nine it meaning then again we do not pick a blue ball we picked a green so the blue balls are untouched so they are four out of nine so if you notice here when we add this one four out of nine plus one out of nine plus four out of nine we are getting a one so that's the essence of the tree on each branch the probability tree should add up to one then we come to the second scenario where if in the first place we picked instead a red ball not a green a lead ball so if you picked a lead ball in the first place it means at the moment all the lead balls are done because we only had one lead ball so what it means is we mean if zero lead ball out of nine then because here the second this one tells us we picked the lead ball it means greens remained untouched if that was the case okay if you had the first time we picked the lead ball it means the number of green balls remained five because we chose lead so out of nine that are remaining because we picked lead five green balls are still there then this is the middle one which saying in the first place we picked the lead then it means we also didn't pick it, the blue ball so there are still four blue ball in there out of the nine balls again when you had here the probability five out of nine plus zero out of nine plus four out of nine is see, a one then we go to the last case where this is remember this is a green this is a lead then this is a blue so instead when you pick there we could have picked a blue ball at the first time so in the first if you pick the blue ball the first then what it means the one that you picked is a blue ball so when you go to pick for the second time the blue ball have reduced by one and the total number of balls have reduced by one so out of this for the blue ball we would have remained with three out of nine because you've taken out one we should not replace remember great then then because under this loot this is the, the scenario where you picked the blue ball in the first case it means the green ball was not picked so green balls means nine the way they are then the red balls also will mean one out of nine because under this route it means in the first place you picked the blue ball okay so again here when you had is a one so basically this is what happens so now what the question is asking us to draw this tree diagram so this tree diagram is what they want us to do so we would have shown and we get that two marks okay then part two find the probability that the two balls are the same color so the same color could be this loot where you picked green in the first place and the second place you picked also what green this is the first case okay this is the first case so some let us say the same color is basically a uh, probability s probability of the same color let, let s be the same color so we have probability that in the second case we picked green given that in the first case we picked green which is this loot you've seen this loot okay 
Then the second one would be probably that we picked red in the second decay in the second peak, given that even at the beginning, the first case we picked red, which is this root and this root. You see there. Then plus probability that you picked blue in the second case, in the second case, this one, given that you started with a blue, which is B1. You see this? Then it's a matter of just multiplying. What will be that you picked green at the first case? Is this one, which is 5 out of 10, multiplied by the second case. You see this one, which is 4 out of 9, plus. Then you picked red in the first case, which is this one. 1 out of 10 multiplied by you picked green you picked lead in the second case remember lead was just one so if in the first case you picked lead it means there is nothing to pick hence which is 0 out of 9 in the second choice then lead bro we in the first case would have picked 4 out of 10 there was a chance that you pick blue 4 out of 10 balls then in the second case because if you had picked blue in the first place one was not replaced so the ball which was taken out was blue so the number of blue balls would have reduced by one so like that then we have five times four five times four is a 20 nine times ten is 90 so it's a 20 out of 90 so if you done collect you see that the denominator will not change you mean all 90 one times zero is a zero over 90 so plus zero out of over 90 then plus 4 times 3 is a 12 over 90 so if you don't collect it the denominator will mean 90 so it will be 20 plus 0 plus 12 which is basically 32 over 90 then you can simplify further this so which you can simplify further to get basically a uh, 16 okay which is 2 into 32 is 16 2 into 90 is 45 so 16 over 45 or Basically, 0 0.356.